Tim, today we're talking about the care around a mirror and foal before and after foaling. Why is it so important or such a cr critical point in time for the mare? Mares foal uh, in a very, very short time frame. It's often quite an explosive event. When they start foaling, there's often only about half an hour um, for them to get the foal out. If there's problems in that time, uh, then there's often a dead foal if it's not out in that time frame or a mare that's compromised. Different stud managers would, would vary in their experience and where they'd like to have a vet intervene. The average mare is going to be, you know, the next day um, to, to assess the mare and just basically you have many of the mares, when they have the foal, they can get traumatised through the, um, the birth canal. There can often be small tears and, you know, vaginal tears and things like that that need tidying up. Most good stud managers will be able to assess that and they know when that needs to be looked at. Um, also, occasionally, you know, you, the mare won't clean properly, uh, so the membranes aren't expelled at the time of foaling or, the, or within a short time period after foaling. If there's any doubt about that, they, the mare really needs to be looked at um, from that by a veterinarian and, and attended to. We looked at some placentas today or after birth. What sorts of things are the vet looking at or the stud managers looking at when they're assessing those? Completeness, basically. If there's anything that's torn and has been retained by the mare and still in the uterus after the mare's fold, it's potentially a, a source of infection for mares. And if they remain inside the uterus for a couple of days undetected, um, you know, they can get very, very sick and it's very important to check that. If we talk about the foal after foaling, what sorts of things are we needing to be aware of? What do we need to see from the foal in those first few hours? Basically we have some rules of thumb and generally when a mare starts foaling we think 30 minutes and the foal should be out. Most foals, when they are um, on the ground and they've been, they've been born, um, we would expect them to be on their feet within an hour and suckling within two hours. In the foaling process, the placenta will come out and the umbilicus will, will rupture. Sometimes they're clamped um, and that blood supply to the foal is finished, basically. Now, through that area of the umbilicus with the belly button, there is a potential for contamination and for bugs to get in there. And that's an extremely important thing on, on a good stud uh, to make sure it's clean. Most studs will spray it with an antibiotic spray or dip it with iodine and just make sure everything's clean around it. And why is it so critical that foals get that first lot of milk from the mare? It has colostrum in it. Colostrum has a lot of antibodies which are only absorbed into the foal in that first few hours after birth. Good ways of, of measuring it before they get it and after. Um, refractometers are used frequently on studs to measure the, you know, the density and the, and the levels, uh, it gives a guide to the levels of antibodies in, in the milk. Some milk is run for a long time out of mares before they foal and, and the colostrum quality can drop. So good studs will often have a store of you know, good colostrum on hand in the freezer where that is a problem and they may supplement a foal shortly after birth. Just going on from that, much of the stuff we do with, uh, with some, many of our foals, particularly ones that are insured, um, or ones that we think have been compromised, will often use a blood test um, to assess how much antibody's been uh, absorbed. We can do that through the lab, or there are different ways of measuring that, at the IgG level. And insurance companies actually require a minimum if they're gonna accept insurance on those foals, so it's quite an important process. Timing in early life is critical, you know, and, and a lot of these little babies, you know, that, that might only be, uh, you know, a couple of hours between them being able to sustain, you know, life and, and get onto the, onto the teat and get suckling. There might be other small problems they have, um, such as passing them with conium and things like that, but really you only have a small time frame to deal with and they run out of energy and next thing you've got a major crisis. So yeah, I think dealing with them early and dealing with them swiftly is extremely important.